Welcome to 411 Carline. You can find the free car packs at 411carline.com. You can set up an appointment or call with any questions, 952-540-9000. We have a 2005 Toyota 4Runner Limited. Four-wheel drive model, leather, heated seat, uh, excuse me. I better check on the heated seats before I say that. <laughs> Last time I said that, they, the vehicle didn't have them, so. Anyways, leather, moonroof, uh, this one does have a Bluetooth aftermarket radio. Wheels are in good condition. As well as the uh, tread depth on the tires. These are Bridgestone all seasons. Body's relatively clean for the year. It's only has 95,000 miles on it, so it's definitely well below the industry average. Industry average right now I heard is 15,000 miles a year. So this vehicle should have you know, 200,000 miles on it plus. So we send them through inspections. Uh, we don't spare any expenses on making them mechanically and safety right. Uh, we spent about 1500 at the shop on this one. I uh, got brand new brakes all around, brand new calipers as you can see in the front there. Uh, calipers in the front, pads and rotors, uh, front and rear. Also did, uh, I believe, one or both CV axles. I'll have to get under there and look, but definitely did one CV axle for sure. The boots just leak on them, so pretty common maintenance on a 4Runner. That's pretty much what we do on these is calipers and brakes and front CV axles. So, uh, As far as blemishes on this vehicle, headlights are fairly clear. Of course, there's going to be a rock chip or two I'm sure someone could pick out. Uh, you know, there's a couple of scuffs here and there, scratch there I mean it's a 15 year old vehicle it's not brand new by any means this is the most popular generation of 4Runner because it is the most reliable people love these which uh, drives the price up uh, most people are like why are they priced so high they're super reliable I've seen them with three four hundred thousand miles on them there was a Sequoia at the uh, mechanic shop next door the other day with 350 on it so this one does have JBL audio. It also has power seats. Both front seats are power. I do have a little thing to get fixed by the interior guy there. Otherwise, the interior is actually in pretty good condition. It's pretty common to have that bolster wear, but passenger seat looks almost mint. Door panels are good as well. It's a good color combination, the red and the uh, tan. Again, 95,000 miles, you can see right there. This is a Carfax One Owner as well. No lights on the dash or anything other than the seatbelt light because I'm not wearing it right now. It's got a JVC head unit with a uh, AUX port there. Jeez, sun is setting tonight, so can't really see that very well. But anyways, it does have Bluetooth as well. The microphone's up here. Automatic climate control. We buy the six cylinder four runners uh, so you don't have to worry about the timing belts or water pump because these have a timing chain which does not need to be serviced in the life of the vehicle or at least it shouldn't have to be. So the, uh, uh, most of the V6 ones are also four wheel drive so they're selectable. Aha, this one does have heated seats and has dual climate control, yeah passive temp, dual climate control there. Overall, interior's in good condition. Does have a compass mirror. Show you the back seat here. Back seats uh, looks like it's probably rarely, if ever, been used. Carpets too, super clean. This one has the shelf in the back. That, of course, as you can see in the pictures on our website, that seat folds down. The power latch works as it should, which brings the vehicle in. It does have a trailer hitch there. I guess I didn't look if it has the wiring or not. Looks like it has a seven pin connector there. Again, there's like a couple little scuffs on the bumper, but this 
this vehicle is really clean. Especially for, I believe it's a Wisconsin vehicle, so for the doors and everything to be this clean is, is very impressive. Another good spot to look is down in here on 4Runners. We buy a ton of 4Runners, so I'm pretty familiar with them. Again, back seat's pretty, pretty mint, I would call it. Lights, the courtesy lights are even working on the running boards. Again, passenger seat, really clean as well. Although this makes it look, there's a shadow there which makes it look dirty, it's actually not. It's actually in really good condition. So I'll pop the hood. You might hear ticking, which is the valve train of the engine. My phone picks up the smallest engine noises, of course, so it sounds like almost like a ticking or a knocking. Relatively clean. It's pretty common to have uh, a little bit of corrosion on those sorts of things. Um, but usually you get a lot of rust in the fender wells and stuff here on these, and I don't see any on this one over here as well. That's actually just dirt in there. It's just washed out by the detailers. But yeah, the fittings and everything, really clean. So those are things to look for on 4Runners. These plates right here as well. Actually, cleaner than some of the ones we get from down south, actually. So, yeah. This one is, uh, as most of our vehicles are, above average, I would say. I'll show you the underside. Now, we judge these based on comparing them to Minnesota vehicles. This one is not rust-free by any means. You can see that there's a little bit of uh, buildup in there. That's just surface. It's not, uh, it's not penetrating yet. You can see this hasn't been painted or anything. It's pretty clean on the back here for a forerunner. Again, it's just surface and I don't like to cover that up. This one is pretty clean for for a forerunner. Even the frame rails there, you just got a little bit of surface on the window bulbs and stuff. Now that certainly could be sandblasted and undercoated. I just don't like to cover things up like that. And those back frame, frame rails are really clean. A little bit of surface there. None of this is concerning to me. It's pretty, pretty typical. On the skid plane here. It's pretty decent, so yeah, overall, Definitely above average. Again, it's not completely rust free. It's not a brand new vehicle. It was in the Midwest. It looks nothing like Minnesota vehicles. The bottom of Minnesota vehicles are much worse generally. So anyways, you can find our info at 411carline.com. Appreciate your time today. Have a great day.